Hello everyone and welcome back to Jenny Luckloo Detective Wu. My name is of course Constantine and we are back with CJ here. We are still on the boat and still on that crazy lake scene. Uh, we are just about to interrogate CJ here. So let's just get on with it. Let's see. Police do not cross. <laughs> what do we have here? This is, oh, this is a sticker. Never mind. <laughs> Right, let's see. Uh, apparently he's been hit here. Someone beat him or what the heck? Suspiciously large bruise. What happened to your eye? Did you get in a fight? It wasn't a fight. More of a misunderstanding, really. A seriously purple misunderstanding? Well, you should see the other guy. Hmm. There's something you're not telling me. Is there? Uh, what else? I saw them. Hmm. This is not going haywire anymore. Or is it? What happened to your compass? Before it was wandering, but now it seems to be pointing in one direction. Exactly. Do you see now? It's not a compass at all. So, what is it then? Aliens! <laughs> Aliens? What are you talking about? E.T. Extraterrestrials. Beings from another world. I know what aliens are. Come on, CJ. There's no such thing. What? No, not you too. I'm sorry, CJ. But it's time to get serious. The Dean is dead and my mom's in jail framed for a murder she didn't commit. I need to get to the truth. The only way to truly see is to open your mind. Not everything is what it seems. If there really are aliens in Arthurthon, how come you're the only person who's ever seen them? People don't see what they are looking for. That's why I come here every night, to observe the unobservable. The compass is my eye. It can sense the presence where, it where I cannot. Why don't you borrow it and find it out for yourself? Huh. Okay, take the compass then. Okay, I'll take it. I need all the help I can get. Good, you can prove my theory to be fact. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Huh, you got the compass, just remember. When the needle is steady, the phenomena are near. Sure. They were here before, they will return, and we'll be waiting for them. Uh, hmm. Yep, totally. Alright, let's carry on. Let's see. So we need more, uh, two more clues, actually. Ooh, there's something hiding here. Let's see what is this. Alright, is that a ticket or something? Gumball library card. Wait, what? Oh, actually, I, I know this guy went to the library, so why am I acting so surprised? <laughs> I know you were in the library in the day Dean Strawberry died. Did you notice anything unusual? Yes, I did. Great. What happened? They changed the bathroom scent from strawberry to pine. <laughs> it was most unpleasant. Oh, is that all? I intended to alert the librarian as a matter of urgency. But no one was at the front desk. Quite unusual. Was there anyone else in the library? Nope. Just the dean and I. Until I, uh... I, uh... Until you left? It's not like it to leave your research lying around. Why were you in such a hurry? In a... Uh, lost track of time. I was late. For an appointment. Hmm, he's lying. An appointment. Appointment... What are you talking about? You said you were late for an appointment. Objection. Leading the witness. <laughs> this isn't a trial, CJ. It's just me, Jenny. And I have nothing further to say for your honor. CJ, this is serious. You have to tell me the truth. I had to do it, Jenny. They needed to learn. CJ... Is this a confession? Well, 
You were going to find out anyway. CJ, did you murder Dean Strawberry? The Dean? Oh, no. But he just said... God, Jenny. Suspect everyone, even me? I don't understand. In fact, I suspected myself for quite some time. But I couldn't have done it. I want to believe it, CJ, but... Do you have an alibi? That's why I left these notes for you. If anyone can prove I'm innocent, it's you, Jenny LeClue. Hang on a second. Let me take a look at that. Hmm. Jenny, I need your help, CJ. You know, we could have saved a lot of time if you'd just give me this message first. And risk being followed? Never! But what had piqued Jenny's interest was not the message itself. That paper. What did he write all these messages on? Hmm, that's true. Oh, hold up. This is gonna be interesting. Um, let's go to a different piece of paper here. So this is gonna have to go somewhere around here. Uh, this one is gonna be a little bit complicated, so let's see. This one is definitely in the top corner, top right corner right here. Uh, this one is gonna have to be... Right up here? No. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Maybe this one is gonna be on this corner. Yep, that's for sure. There we go. Uh, this one is gonna have to be right there. This one is gonna be the top left corner. Uh, this is definitely middle. This is definitely upside down like this. And the last one... Hmm. Can we flip this? Oh no, it's right here. There we go. I knew it! You wrote all these messages on a piece of newspaper. Oh, look at this. There's a newspaper here. He broke it and wrote stuff on it. Let's zoom in here and see what this is all about. What really happened to him. Cover story continues. As the only witness and prime suspect, Mrs. LeClue is being held without bail at the Arthurton City Jail. Mrs. LeClue has not given any comment and has refused legal counsel when offered. Due to the nature of the case, Sheriff Winston LeClue has distanced himself from all proceeding in order to maintain a perimeter to limit the conflict of interest and uphold the law and justice to the full extent possible. Huh. The taste you'll die for, keep an eye out for your Coffee for a brand new coffee cart. Peddling beans all over town. Let's go with this first one. Jenny couldn't help it. Every time she thought about coffee, she saw Keith's face. She heard his voice. She remembered his sadness. And she promised not to rest until she had uncovered the truth of his father's death. Yeah, that's really sad though. Anyway, let's go with this one that we already read. The front page was was missing, but even this small snippet worried Jenny. They've been peddling lies about my mom right from the start. Sheriff Winston LeClue has distanced himself from all proceedings. Well, if you won't help her, I will. Alright, local idiot ruins school play. <laughs> Parents feared for children's safety and grades. An Avocado High School play and parade about the founders of Arthurton was ruined by one town idiot's ramblings. The man identified himself simply as CJ. Witnesses to be terribly mis misguided man's rant claimed that after he ran onto the stage, he began yelling at a small, innocent child dressed as an acorn, later identified as Sheldon Grade 3. Hmm. Let's mark this down. This photo was taken in Avocado Heights. That's on the other side of town. Miles from the library. Hmm. So this was actually taken, yeah, on the uh, day of the uh, murder, I guess. Let's look at the clock. 3.55. Clearly the afternoon. Yeah, what about his eye? CJ was always protesting something. The first time they had met, CJ had handcuffed himself to a bike rack outside the Agatha Krusty's bakery. 
he was convinced they were hiding something in the pies. He lost the key to his handcuffs, so I picked the lock for him. <laughs> they had been friends ever since. Alright, what else can we note here? Avocado Heights, earlier today, a scene of, fe of tears and terror. Uh, let's keep reading here then. Uh, witnesses recall the crazed man barking, they are lying to you. They don't know what they are talking about. The truth is up there at the frightened child. Principal Bagley, who had been watching from the sidelines, rested the man off stage and away from the now crying children. The man then ran through the streets shouting, They're trying to shut me up! They're trying to shut me up! One parent replied, Maybe it's time someone did! <laughs> Police arrived soon after. And although it was a bit of a struggle to catch and arrest the man, police eventually managed to book him on a charge of dis disturbing the peace. Another parent claimed it was the best show he's ever seen at the school. Although the bit about aliens was a bit far-fetched. <laughs> um, so we need one more... Um, one more clue here. But... Oh, there we go, the date. Yeah, there we go. Tuesday. That's the day of Dean's murder. CJ couldn't have killed the Dean. All the evidence is right here. The case of the dead Dean. Alright. So, we're gonna go with... Clock. We're gonna go with... Newspaper Edition. And we're gonna go with Avocado Heights. CJ was in Avocado Heights on the op opposite side of town from the library. And that's enough evidence to prove that he wasn't there. He didn't kill the Dean. <laughs> CJ was photographed in Avocado Heights at 3.55 p.m. on Thursday. Two minutes before the Dean died, there's no way CJ could have killed him. Yep. That's... that's true. So I guess that was solved. CJ, you're innocent. What a relief. But you really shouldn't be going around town terrorizing children. You're going to end up in jail again. That wouldn't be so bad. They have the best beds in town. <laughs> uh, Alright, we need one more clue in order to uh, end this up. So, I think I saw something on his legs. Yeah, look at this. The bottles. Uh, interact? What's happening here? Oh, that was just a secret I think that we got. Never mind. Uh, let's keep going here. Ooh, the tattoo on his uh, hand. Let's uh, check it out here. Familiar notes. Those scribbles look familiar. I found your map of Arthur Town in the library. Keep it. It's a great map. Very rare. Rip it straight out of the town charter. First edition. Come to think of it. Only edition. What about all those notes? Don't you need them? Nope. Got it all backed up in the cloud. <laughs> what cloud? Did I say cloud? I meant head. So what do all those notes mean? Uh, Shadow Man, UFO Swarm. Let's go with Shadow Man. Who are the Shadow Man? Yes, you're starting to see differently. There are patterns everywhere. Keep searching. Every part of my being is telling me that my mom is being framed. But I don't understand why. There are only three reasons a man is murdered. He didn't mind his own business. He couldn't keep his mouth shut. Or he wouldn't keep his hands to himself. Have you ever heard of a place called Widow's Drop? I think my mom met the Dean there. Widow's Drop? No! But it sounds suspicious. Anything sounds suspicious if you say it like that. Be careful, Jenny. 
They'll do anything to keep their secrets. Once you start to see things, there's nothing going back. Do you ever wonder why the lake glows at night? Or why the power keeps going out all over town? Yes, I do. All the time. There's a lot more to this town if you look below the surface. Do you mean that literally or figuratively? Yes. <laughs> the truth is hiding right under our feet. If you only stop to look. I'm more confused than when we started. Well, I really have to get to my house. This case won't solve itself. I can drop you off at the bridge. No need. I'm staying here. Some of these rocks have moved. Never trust a crab with a man's job. <laughs> oh my god, CJ. So weird. Such a weird dude. Be careful, Jenny. They're everywhere. Always watching. Don't worry about me, CJ. They'll never see me coming. I sneak in silence. I creep in the shadows. My footsteps are whispers. <laughs> Just as I thought. Damn it! <laughs> I've got this. Don't worry. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's scratching it completely. Oh god. <laughs> okay, we're good. I'm sure that'll buff out. <laughs> wow, we completely totaled the, uh, the, the, the boat here. Alright, Jenny headed east towards the almost dune bridge. I can dock there and make my way through the forgotten forest without anyone seeing me. Sneaky. Alright, uh, before we leave though, let's just make a circle here in this uh, in this big circle, I guess. See if there's anything else hiding in here. And after that, we'll just make our way out. This freaking lake actually took us two freaking episodes to traverse. It was so long. But uh, either way, it was really good. At least the scene with CJ, we got to find out so much stuff. And also, now we know that CJ is not the murderer. If any of you had any doubts, well, now you know, he's definitely not the murderer. Sure he's fun to hit stuff. <laughs> well, I didn't mean to, come on. Let's keep going here. So we are out of that part, and now... I think we gotta go right... right up here. Oh crap. Sorry about that. Ooh, some more stuff. Where is it? Right there. Right, got it. Let's see, hopefully this is another picture piece. Ah, it's a sticker. Dang it. Alright, never mind. Let's keep going then. Hmm. These entrances here are really spooky. Uh, before I make it all the way down, I am gonna go in here for just a second. Yeah, yeah, look at this. There's definitely something hiding in here. So let's just make it all the way to the end. There we go. I knew it. Again, please give me a picture. Flex crap. Yep, another picture piece. Awesome. This is so good. Let's see how many we have. Uh, we have... 5 out of 7, holy crap. We need 2 more actually. Uh, hold up. Oh yeah, so that's all. We need, uh, we need definitely, we definitely need 2 more. So let's keep going here. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Come on Jane, you can do this. Just find me 2 more pieces of scrap. There's definitely gonna be one... Oh, uh, let's see... Oh, we are at the end, actually. So hopefully... 
hopefully we have another piece of photo right up here. Crap. That's a no. Okay, never mind. Well, I think we're done, so let's uh let's just leave the lake. That's the way to my house. Leave stay. Oh, we can also keep staying apparently. But uh why does he wanna keep us staying? I mean we found everything we could. I don't see any place where there there might be some more pictures hiding. I looked at every freaking nook and cranny in this lake. Yeah. I think that's just an option just in case, right? Just in case you want to keep looking, but I'm pretty sure we got everything from here, so let's just leave. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 don't stay. Take it. I want to say leave. There we go. Alright. We are so close to getting home. The night was still and quiet on the far side of the lake. Whoa, look at this. Holy crap. Look at that freaking bridge. It looks so good. No one ever comes down here, not since they stopped repairing the bridge. And yet, it was hard to shake the feeling of being watched. This is CJ's fault. He really believes all that stuff. Once you start to see things, there's no going back. I wonder what he meant by that. Huh. Yeah, I wonder too. Anyway, let's keep going here. Oh, hold up. This is exactly where we were. Um, We've been here before, right? Or actually, no, this is a different place. Never mind. Uh, pick up the sticker. Awesome. Read the sign. Forgotten Forest Trail. For it, most likely place to be eaten by bears. Arthurton Gazette. <laughs> Oh crap, well this doesn't sound good. Well, either way, I am gonna make my way to the forest here. Oh. Why the crap did that happen? Perfect. Just as I'm about to enter the spooky woods, the good folks at Atherton Power and Light were not easing Jenny's fear of the dark. Of course, this was the very reason curfew had been put in place. Hmm. Well, I guess we're gonna have to make our way through the darkness then. This is gonna get even more creepier then. Crap. Be brave. Be brave, Jenny. Enter the Forgotten Forest. Hopefully we'll be all good here. The light came back, so... I mean, I don't know if there's gonna be any light in the woods either way. Oh god. This is really scary. Jenny's imagination ran wild. In the darkness, every sound was of a threat. Every shadow, a monster. But she was nearly home. Just a little further. Whoa. Holy crap. What the heck? Look at these woods. Why are they lighting up like that? What the... Well, I'm really creeped out by this. Holy crap. Look at the tree in front of us. Um, This is not spooky at all. Nope, not at all. <laughs> Why are we even worried? We're all good. I think I can hear some whispers. And those are actually making it even more creepy. Oh god. <laughs> Alright. There's no going back now. Oh, come on, why is he getting so misty? Seriously? Oh, 
crap. Oh! What the? What happened to the bridge? Oh man, it looked like Jenny had reached her dead end. She had no choice but to return to Susie's house for a comforting mug of hot chocolate. I'd rather plummet my death. Yep, let's keep going. We're definitely not stopping now. Oh god. Uh, how the heck are we gonna pass then? Huh. It was a terrifying drop to the rocks below. Surely she wasn't contemplating upon jumping across. Mom always says a great detective takes calculated risks. So let's do the math. <laughs> Calculate chances. Let's see. Um. Hmm. Six feet. Badly damaged. The bridge is too weak for a running jump. Well, I don't think you can jump six feet if you're not gonna run, Jenny. Strong tailwind. Crap. Taking into account the strong tailwind and factoring in my athletic prowess or lack of thereof, I could make that jump two out of three times. Not bad odds. Terrible odds. <laughs> well, here goes nothing. Seriously, I, are you just gonna jump? Oh. Oh my god. Seriously? Did we just fell down? Oh crap, we caught the uh, the edge there. Okay, maybe the odds weren't so good. <laughs> and now she was dangling from a splinter plank, one slip away from certain death. It isn't just like climbing a tree. Just don't look down. Don't look down. Oh, we gotta go back, unfortunately. God dang it. Or maybe we actually have to go down. But safely, though. Uh, because uh, we would have definitely died if we would have fell all the way down. Oh my god, I think we're gonna have to jump a little bit here. Oh, never mind. We're all good. Come on, Jenny. Keep on moving. Uh, let's try to go to the left side here. Hopefully this is the right path to go. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, did the game just glitch on me? All right, and we're back. Uh, ignore that freaking glitch there. <laughs> I had no idea what happened. Uh, anyway, I am just gonna make my way on this side, on the other side then. And see what's gonna happen here. I don't know exactly what the heck happened there. It looked like we were falling through the map. Through the world, actually. Okay, let's keep going. Ooh, look at this. There's something hiding around here. Huh. Maybe there's another photo? But where? Oh, it's right there, actually. Alright, let's uh, jump down then. Let's see if we can pick it up. Scrap. Okay, we got another photo piece. And I think we got one more to get. Yeah, look at this. Six out of seven. Perfect. Let's keep going then. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not good. That's not good. We gotta jump somewhere, but where the heck does he want us to jump? Seriously? Jump. Jump here? Prepare? What do you mean prepare? Huh. Oh. Oh, I get it. Okay. So you can actually do a jump like that. I had no idea. Uh, so maybe we actually gotta go to the left side. But either way, I'm happy that we came to the right side here because, of course, we got ourselves another picture. Another picture piece, actually, not a picture. 
because we need one more in order to uh, to complete the entire picture. This is really cool. I love this. Come on, Jenny, you can do it. You can definitely do it. Uh, let's see, I got a feeling that maybe we need to jump from this ledge to the other side. Yeah, look at that. So we need to prepare and jump. Oh my god. Ah! Was this the end of our tiny hero? As her sprinkly muscles began to give way, an image flashed before Jenny's eyes. Her mother, dangling from a ledge, unable to pull herself to safety. How could she possibly save her family when she couldn't even save herself? I can't give up now. Mom needs me. Come on, Jenny, get up. Get the hell up. There we go. Jenny had barely survived. Was she really prepared for the dangers that lay ahead? Well, hell yeah she is. Look at that. She freaking did that. I cannot believe it. That was so good. It's too late to turn back now. Yes, it definitely is. Good job, Jenny. I freaking love this. Um, it looks like there's two ways to go, but not really. Oh! It might have been her recent brush with death, but Jenny's heart was pounding in her chest. It's not my heart. That's... Whoa, CJ's compass. Seriously? The needles is shaking like crazy. Um. Okay, this is about to get even weirder. Uh, let's see here. What are we about to see here? I think we might find the last photo piece. Oh, no. Actually, we need to kick this damage tree in order to carry on. Huh. Alright, well, you know what? I think that before we start kicking this tree up and carry on the adventure, we are just gonna have to end up the episode right here for now as we are running out of time. And when we come back in the next one, we'll kick the crap out of this tree and see where else our adventure is gonna take us to. Alright, well, as usual guys, thank you all very much for watching the video so far. I really hope you enjoyed this, especially the scenes in the, uh, in the dark forest. This was actually really good. If you did enjoy it, Leave a like down below, of course, and let me know down in the comments what you thought about it. And if you're new here, consider subscribing, as I'm posting videos just like this one every single day, exploring more awesome adventure games and really cool journeys. Alright, I'll see you all in the next one real soon. Bye! Oh, wait a minute. It's a freaking hatch. Holy crap. Oh, hold up. Um, oh my god. In all her short life, Jenny LeClue had never found herself in such a peculiar place. Oh my god, that's a freaky sound. Uh...